Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have an Aldi haul for you. As well as, well one little thing I got at CVS, but I'm gonna show you what I bought and talk about my meal plan. So I grabbed some mild Italian sausages, that's for lunch next week. I'm gonna do sausage with onions, mushrooms, and zucchini, and that'll be lunch. I'll make that tomorrow. I grabbed some peppermint stick coffee because, well, duh, it's Christmas. Two dozen eggs. I'm going to be baking. I may need to go back and get more. I got four of these cans of tomato sauce. I'm going to make some chili for my lunches this week or for dinner tonight and then to have. Uh, for breakfast, I got extra sharp cheddar and Swiss. I do this all the time. It's just so easy. And this time I bought... A beef summer sausage. I'll just chop it up. Probably boil some eggs. Mushrooms for the peppers. Zucchini. This is a two-fold. I'm going to make, and it's out of a cookbook that I have, faux apple. It's called faux apple oatmeal, but I don't have apple extract, so I'm just going to make it like a maple. But I need a zucchini for that because I believe that the zucchini chopped up is like the faux apple. So I grab that, plus I'll chop some up to go with my peppers. Two more sauces. I don't know how many I'll need for my chili, but they're a quarter, so I grab four. Two of my sweeteners, one for work, one for home because, well, coffee. And this is really good. This is the Aldi version of the Whole Earth. It's just stevia and erythritol, and it's very clean. So I grab those. Some butter because it's still $1.99, so I just I keep buying it. Cheese for my chaffles. Cream cheese for Thanksgiving. I'm going to make a pumpkin cheesecake. Brussels sprouts because they were $1.59 and they're delicious. So I grabbed those. Two creams, one for home, one for work. Hemp hearts. This is one of the main ingredients in the faux oatmeal. And it has one gram of carb. If you net your carbs, it has zero. But I don't, so I count one. Beef broth for the chili and pork rinds for life. Oh, and I got the hemp hearts at CVS. They were cheaper than Amazon, which is just bizarre. Um, same brand, cheaper, so I grabbed them there. So this is everything. I made the chili last week for you, so I won't video that. Um, but I really like chili. So I'm going to make that tonight for dinner because I'm hungry. It is 6 o'clock, and I just got back from working the Buckeye game. I'm starving. This is probably why I bought so much food. Um, but the only thing I had today was two keto cookies. So I am hungry. So chilly it is. But I will bring you along when I make my sausage and probably my breakfast stuff. All right, everybody. We'll be back. Alrighty, here we go. I've got my, um, what is this? Walk. That's what it is. Got my walk out. I'm boiling water. or It already came to a boil. I stuck my Italian sausages in here. I par cooked them. And then when they're done, when they come out of here, I'll slice them up and stir fry them to get them finished cooking. But if you par cook them, they don't get dried up. And I don't like dried up sausage. So there's one, two, three, four, five. That'll get me a couple days, you know, lunches. And then I chopped up a zucchini. I have some mushrooms already chopped up. I think I'll chop up an onion for that meal. Or, no, no onion. I think what I will do is chop up some Brussels sprouts and put them in here because I like a Brussels sprout. They're very healthy, um, pretty low carb as far as, you know, vegetables go. Not zero carb for sure, but a lower carb. And then I will cut up my cheese and meat for breakfast. So I'll be back when I assemble. All right now, while I've got my sausages back here and they're almost done, I'm gonna start for Thanksgiving some fresh, ooh. I threw them on the floor. Fresh cranberry sauce. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to go hunting for lots of cranberries, including under my microwave. But for right now, we'll just mix it together. So in a small pan, it's two-thirds cup water. 
and a cup of cranberries. I'm going to put it on the burner. Let me move you this direction. On a low to medium low, you want to bring it up your temperature and let it cook down when the cranberries start popping and softening up. This is uh, a quarter of a teaspoon of gelatin and a quarter of a cup of water. It's just going to sit to the side and do its thing. This is a tablespoon of butter. Then I'm going to need to get my granulated sweetener out, some vanilla. I'm going to add cinnamon to mine because I like cinnamon. And I'm going to clean up all the cranberries off my floor. There, and out from under the microwave. Um, this recipe just calls for one cup. And the bag clearly has more, but you can, if I like it, I might make another batch and um, freeze it for Christmas, or I can decorate with these cranberries or cook with them or whatever. But for now, I don't need them. Put them to the side, and I'm just letting this come up to temperature, and I'm getting ready to take out my sausage. Okay, I got some avocado oil in here. Oh. And I just put one zucchini, it splattered me. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt, Ooh, that was my pepper, a little salt, and some pepper. And the first thing we're gonna do is cook up this zucchini a little bit. It takes the longest to cook. And then I will add in my, um, I cut up, a handful of Brussels sprouts. So here's the thing I forgot. I'm only working three days this week. It's Thanksgiving and I took Friday off. So this will be perfect for the week. Three lunches. I have some chilies for dinner or I can mix it up. It doesn't matter. One of this is going to go for lunch and one will go for dinner. And then on Thursday it's turkey day. Hence the I'm making cranberry sauce. I'm going to let my sausages back here cool. Um, mostly because they're hot and I don't want to deal with them. <laughs> and you want the juices to stay in, you know, stay in them. And then I'm going to do some, I haven't decided on my flavorings yet. Yeah, and then we have to make, one night this week, I need to make my pumpkin cheesecake, pumpkin pie cheesecake. And then I need to make a casserole of uh, cauliflower like cheesy macaroni but cauliflower and I don't know what I want in here for flavoring so we'll figure that out probably salt pepper maybe some Italian seasoning they are Italian sausage and then that'll be good so this is just gonna kind of hang out do its thing and while that is working I'm gonna cut up the sausage and I'm waiting on the cranberries to come up to temperature and do their thing. I need to get, I'm going to do cinnamon in mine, I've decided, and a little lemon juice to kind of brighten it up a little bit. The recipe I'm following is from uh, Keto Gatherings by Dr. Christy Sullivan, but I don't have orange extract, so I'm going to do a cinnamon, lemony, cinnamony one. All right, well, that's it for right this second. Got the Brussels sprouts, and I put a bunch of uh, zesty Italian that I made, which I gotta make some more spices. And the zucchini is cooking away. Now, my sausage is not fully cooked, which is how I wanted it. Um, so it's gonna go in here and finish cooking and flavoring the vegetables. And if you're not keto, add all the veg you want. Add whatever color vegetable you want. Ooh, no, no. <laughs> I'm babysitting the dog and I just dropped the sausage. Yeah, I'll be mopping again today. Uh, but like I was saying, if you're not keto, this would be great with like buttered noodles or, you know, you could add potatoes to this. There's all kinds of vegetables that you could add to bring out, you know, bring more carbohydrates to the table, a different flavor profile. But for me, because I am this is what I eat. So I have this. This is going to cook. I need the sausage to cook down. I need the zucchini to cook and the Brussels sprouts to do their thing. 
and then we'll taste it at the end for seasoning, but I think we're good here on that. Let me just move you and we're gonna work on the cranberry sauce. Now what the recipe tells me is when it comes up to a boil and they started popping and they're getting soft, which is what you want, this is where it becomes keto for me, but if you're not keto, you could do a different recipe, same concept. So it asks for um, quarter of a cup of sweetener. I'm going to use a little less than that just because I don't like things overly sweet. However, the cranberries are very tart. So this recipe calls for butter because it's keto. It needs to have some fat in it. So I will add my tablespoon of butter. If Again, if you're not keto, there are lots of cranberry sauce recipes out there to make your own. Um, and again, because we're using less sugar and not real sugar, I'm depending on the pectin in the cranberries to thicken it, which is why we're using some gelatin, just to help it thicken up a little bit since we don't have everything. Oh, that smells so good. If you're a fan of the cranberry, like I'm a fan of the cranberry, oh, doggy. So we're gonna let this come to a boil, you know, continue cooking. Um, the recipe says let it boil, or simmer, I should say, until it's thickened on its own, so the pectins have done their work. We'll taste it for sweetness. Oh, well, we'll add the gelatin and then taste it for sweetness. But right now, it needs to simmer. It's not, it's not thick yet. So that's kind of what I'm saying. The last thing I'm going to add is my cinnamon. Um, like I said, I don't have orange extract, which would be delicious in here, or um, food-grade essential oil. So I'll make cinnamon. It's okay. It's going to be delicious on my turkey. Hi guys, and while I'm back, here is my lunches for the week. My cranberry sauce and my little Thanksgiving or fall glass container. I would store it in glass. Back here I have my three lunches. It's just some sausage, zucchini, mushrooms, and Brussels sprouts. And breakfast is sausage and cheese. I'm taking one to work tonight, so I'll put that in the fridge. And then I have a couple packages of cookies left um, that I'll just have whenever. So that is it. Hope you have a great week.